day 14 hmm. so hey guys uh, I have a problem as in like uh, as I mentioned I have to reach Bangalore as soon as possible so like today I'm gonna going to check uh, about parceling my bike let me just go find out what are the options which are available here so the first thing is I need to have some breakfast I'm really hungry so this is a late town or the late city or whatever you want to call it Jetter is office here let me just go find out what are the options available at the moment Yeah, that's the jet office office. Let me go find out there. The flight tickets are a bit expensive. So I, I don't know where I'm heading actually. Uh, I, I want to know like the place where you can parcel your bike. So parceling the bike from Del uh, Lay, it looks it's not feasible. So what I've decided is I'll head to Delhi uh, tomorrow. <coughs> I know I won't reach Delhi tomorrow, but tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, and then I'll decide on what to do. So yeah, it's confirmed. I have to cancel Pangong Lake. Anyway, it's no problem. I'll come back again, that is for sure. So tomorrow if I'm heading to uh, Srinagar, I have to go via Kargil. And that's around like 400 kilometers. I think I can cover that in 400 kilometers. Let me see if that's something which I can do. Uh, if I reach Srinagar tomorrow, then probably from there I can plan the rest. Hey guys, this is day 14 only. So. As of today, I didn't do anything. I just uh, roam around the market and I was taking rest today. So the plan is tomorrow I'm heading to uh, Srinagar and uh, day after tomorrow I'll go to Delhi depending upon the situation uh, which is happening out there. So what I'm doing is uh, uh, I'll head to Srinagar tomorrow and see uh, how the situation is going to be and then I'll plan my uh, uh, ride for the second day. Uh, the main reason of me not riding to Bangalore is because there is an urgent requirement from my office that I have to reach Bangalore as soon as possible. So this is the best possible way that I could do it at the moment. Yeah, so this is day 14 ending. Tomorrow is gonna be the ride from uh, Leh to Kargil and Srinagar. Hopefully I should, I'll be able to make it to Srinagar. It's like around 400 km from Leh. Day 14. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for all your support. Ride safe. Good night. Hey friends, this is day 15 and it's time to leave uh, Leh. My baby's already mounted the luggage, everything. I just have to leave now. Chalo. Yes. Bye bye. Thank you. I am officially leaving Leh. Next I'll be going to... Today the target is to go a little more ahead of Srinagar. Let me see if I can make it. From Leh, Srinagar is like around uh, 400 odd kilometers. And... Uh, I don't have GPS so I have to rely on boat signals. The one problem which I see most here is there's no signals anywhere. Trust me, yes. The boat signals they're not there anywhere. The time is 8.30 in the morning. Uh, not sure how long I can cover today, but let's see. So I'm finally out of the city. Hey hey!
Okay, Srinagar is 430 kilometers from here. Kargil is 240. 430 kilometers, yes. I need to cover that. If I can do more than that, that'll be awesome. Seriously, I miss Pangong Lake. Anyways, duty calls, you have to go. Okay, as of now, I could see all the mountains, mountains, mountains. Yes, this is the LA uh, Srinagar Highway and uh, initially when I used to get uh, get to see the mountains, I was really excited but now it's only mountains everywhere. So, you know how it is. <laughs> Anyways, I will come here again. Yes, that is for sure. Uh, even if it is not in bike, but uh, I want to come here again. I actually uh, missed out to ex explore uh, quite a few places here. I started feeling hungry. I didn't have anything in the morning. I just had a uh, tea. Probably after some time, I'll stop somewhere and have a protein bar. Protein, one book protein and one energy bar, yes. Yeah, actually it's, it, it really helps. It likes, uh, uh, it has all the es essential minerals, vitamins that the body requires and then uh, uh, it also provides 20 grams of protein. It's actually one complete meal. Finally a signboard for Cargill, it's straight, yeah. Srinagar is 400 kilometers from here and Cargill is 200. 190 I believe. The road is good, I can reach there pretty much in good time. And I heard the roads are really really good. Again, yet another military area. Mountains, mountains, mountains. In this ride, this was one of the rides where I have experienced all the climate. I experienced rain, I experienced snow, I experienced summer. Yeah, yeah while coming through Rajasthan it was really really hot and also I got a chance to go to a desert yes Nubra Valley in Himalayas it's a desert you'll see camels sand dunes everything so this is my and this will be my one of the most memorable ride ever and that too being and that too riding solo means yeah it's um, you know, I don't know how to say that, but it's I'm gonna cherish this. And one of the main reason I started a YouTube channel is because to keep track and um, have all my footages safe, so that I can also share it with you guys. And you can enjoy watching them as well. It's like you know, I'm letting you know what I am experiencing. And I think it's I'm doing it pretty okay. I know I'm not very good at this, but I'm I'm I'm, I'm okay at this. That I know. What is this purple color mud? I really don't know. Is it a mud or is it a rock? It's a mix of everything I believe. And it looks purplish from far. Mm. 
the road so far is really good and i heard that it roads are really good till delhi that's good news for me started climbing again altitude i don't know kargil about kargil always altitude mm. this is some formula top something i forgot uh i just written there uh this is supposed to be the highest uh, altitude uh, or the highest peak or the highest uh road in the leh srinagar highway so yeah and also it's really really cold i didn't take the thermal i didn't know about this thing and i didn't know that this will be cold ah so as of now it's really really cold it's bloody cold let uh, just stop for 2 minutes i just need to stretch my legs it's paining ouch ah uh, look at the view man awesome man i didn't put the thermal also which was a really bad idea i didn't know about this Oof. and kargil is 60 kilometers i hope i have the fuel for that i have another 11 kilometers 11 or 10 kilometers to Kargil. Uh, I'm hungry as well. I need to eat something. And I got stuck in between all these army trucks. Mm, so this is a Kargil town. Nice, 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 nice. Wow. I'm in Kargil. So officially, I'm in Kargil city, Kargil town. They have a KTM, <laughs> Mahindra. I think Srinagar there is a KTM showroom. If possible, I'll take my baby there. फुल सर ठीक है दिस इज द कारगिल टाउन दिस इज द कारगिल टैक्सी स्टैंड आई विश आई हैड मोर टाइम आई वुड स्पेंड अ डे इन कारगिल Ladies and gentlemen this is the Kargil town Unfortunately I won't be able to explore much of Kargil 
because I'm not gonna stay here. I'm just going to Srinagar, and even I don't think I can explore much in Srinagar as well. So I think I have another uh, 200 odd kilometers to Srinagar and around 120 to Sonmark. Yeah, I have to go via Sonmark. So I have another 220 odd kilometers <laughs> to reach Srinagar. Srinagar 199, Sonmark 116, Zozilla Pass 92 kilometers. Okay. So I have exactly 199 kilometers to Srinagar. Awesome. Oh, what a view. What a view. Zozilla Pass is 75 kilometers. Man, oh man, what a view. I could feel a little bit of drizzle. If it is gonna be heavy, I need to take my uh, rain jacket out. The rain is getting more harder. I may need to stop very, very soon. To the rain. It's getting more cold now. I have some... 160 kilometers more to Srinagar. Man, just look at those. Oh. Awesome, awesome. Nice, 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 nice. The drizzle has gone now. That's a bit of a relief. Ah. Ah. It's cold. Should I take the thermal? Let me wait for some more time. And then I'll decide. <laughs> 